I went inside a turkey factory farm and found birds with injuries so severe that the company's own CEO said the footage was disturbing. But now that same farm is working with us to save lives and transform Thanksgiving. I'm an investigator with the Animal Rights Network, Direct Action Everywhere, and I'm facing felony charges for investigating animal cruelty and for rescuing dying animals from two Utah farms, a Norbest turkey farm and a factory pig farm owned by Smithfield, which is the largest pig killing company in the world. Smithfield is trying to throw me in prison for 60 years, but Norbest has taken a radically different path. Rick Pittman, the owner of the farm, has opposed the prosecution. And last Thanksgiving, he released 100 turkeys to us in an act of goodwill and compassion. We brought those holiday survivors to farm sanctuaries around the country. And today, they're inspiring a growing movement for animal rescue. We weren't sure where this surprising collaboration would lead, but for the second year, we just saved lives together. And I believe if we continue the tradition of compassion, someday soon, this entire farm could transform into a sanctuary and send a message to farms around the world that change is possible. We saw a glimpse of that future when we came to the table together. Animal rights activists that the government wants to label terrorists and Rick, a Mormon turkey farmer, who has gotten to know us for who we are. We talked to Rick, shared some plant-based food, and saw that our values aren't so different. We got you some vegan treats. Awesome. <laughs> a couple oh, brownies. Sugar. Maple scone. You know my weakness. Peanut butter bar. Is that your weakness? <laughs> All right. Sugar is my middle name. Yeah, well, we're super appreciative of your generosity today and, and the compassion you're showing for the animals. Um, I think it's a very powerful act of mercy. And so we wanted to share some, some delicious foods some for, for you and your workers too. And awesome. we'd love to bring you any more no, if you'd I'm like. Good. Okay. Okay. When given the opportunity, most people would rather save a life than take a life. And farmers are no different. They would rather send their animals to sanctuary than slaughter. But in corporate animal agriculture, those values are swallowed up by the number one value of the corporation, profit. In 2018, the global meat market was valued at nearly a trillion dollars. And it's the largest companies that are bringing in the most money. Like Smithfield Foods, with a yearly revenue of nearly $14 billion. And when I investigated Smithfield's farms, instead of acknowledging the cruelty that we exposed, Smithfield used this money and power to try to crush us. They worked with the authorities, accompanying the police during the arrest of a 20-year-old DXC activist at her home. They secured a gag order against DXC activists that prohibits them from criticizing Smithfield, a clear violation of their First Amendment right. FBI agents embarked on a multi-state pig hunt in pursuit of the two dying piglets we rescued from Smithfield. The company pushed for harsher legal consequences, and their prosecutor even reached out to the Norbest prosecutor to help make their case stronger. Now, the Utah Attorney General has accused me and my fellow activists of a pattern of unlawful activity. But what happens to that claim when one of the parties condemns the prosecution and says what we did was right? While Smithfield portrays us as dangerous criminals for rescuing dying animals, Norbest is helping us rescue more. Help the trend continue. Sign and support at righttorescue.com.